Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Taiwan is about to choose its new president. What's at stake and how might China respond? Open house, $77,000 a month rental shows depth of Hong Kong's luxury downturn. Taiwan's raucous democracy is another challenge to Xi's ambition. Taiwan's elections aren't all about China. China anti-dumping probe piles pain on Europe's cognac producers. Taiwan is about to choose its new president. What's at stake and how might China respond? CNN Taiwan is today electing a new leader with the election being watched closely by the world, as it is taking place under the shadow of China's increasing assertiveness. China has spent the last eight years escalating its threats towards Taiwan. China's ruling Communist Party considers Taiwan part of its territory. All three candidates have said they will maintain peace and the status quo, however, they have different visions for how to achieve that. Current Vice President Lai ching ti of the ruling party, the Democratic Progressive Party, wants to bolster Taiwan's ties with the US and Japan. He believes Taiwan is already a de facto sovereign nation. The main opposition party, the Kuomintang's, KMT, candidate, Hu Yui, wants to resume dialogue with China. Hu has also rejected Beijing's one country, two systems model for unification. The third candidate, Kao Wenjie of the Taiwan People's Party, advocates a pragmatic approach to seek a new way out in the US-China rivalry. China has warned Taiwan's voters to recognize the extreme danger of Lai ching tis triggering of cross-strait confrontation and conflict. Open house, $77,000 a month rental shows depth of Hong Kong's luxury downturn. Bloomberg The downturn in Hong Kong's property market is leading homeowners to rent out second or third properties rather than sell, as they hope that the decline will end when borrowing costs fall and China's economy improves. The government has also suspended residential land sales for the first time in 14 years due to poor demand. However, finding tenants for top-end properties, particularly in a time when companies are retrenching employees, can be challenging. Rents have risen from their pandemic lows but remain below levels seen five years ago. There are currently over 20 luxury properties listed on Real Estate Agency Landscope's website for at least $300,000 Hong Kong dollars, $38,400, per month, including a 5,480 square feet semi-detached house on the Peak 7 Road, offered for $330,000 Hong Kong dollars, and Chu Wan, a 4,000 square foot house on the Peak which is listed for 600,000 Hong Kong dollars per month. Taiwan's raucous democracy is another challenge to Xi's ambition. Bloomberg Taiwan's upcoming presidential election is the first major test of open elections in 2020, and will be a contest between forging closer ties with China or maintaining its sovereignty with the help of the US. The election highlights the stark contrast between Taiwan's democracy and China's authoritarian regime as well as the loss of democratic rights in Hong Kong. The ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, has organized 21 rallies this month, while the opposition Kuomintang, KMT, has adopted a more cost-effective approach by conducting interviews with social media influencers and smaller events. Taiwan's elections aren't all about China. Foreign policy Taiwan's upcoming election on January 13 will primarily be about domestic issues and not about Taiwan's political identity or its relationship with China. Voters are treating the election as a referendum on President Tsai Ing-wen's domestic policies and public satisfaction with the ruling party's governance. The election will determine the new president as well as all the seats in the legislative yuan, Taiwan's unicameral parliament. The three main candidates in the presidential race are Lai ching ti of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, Hu Yui of the opposition party Kuomintang, KMT, and Kao Wenjie of the Taiwan People's Party, TPP. Polls indicate that Lai is slightly favored to win, but there is still uncertainty about the final outcome. The election is primarily focused on domestic issues, including Tsai's governance, scandals involving DPP politicians, crime, and the state of Taiwan's economy. Tsai's approval ratings have been negative, and the majority of the Taiwanese public wants a different ruling party. 
The KMT is favored to win a majority of legislative seats, but it is uncertain whether they can win an absolute majority. The TPP is likely to win several at-large seats in the legislative elections, which could give them significant legislative influence depending on which party wins the presidency. Regardless of the election result, Taiwan's next president and legislature will face challenges in improving the economy, reforming the military, and finding peace with Beijing while maintaining Taiwanese sovereignty. The election is not expected to have a significant impact on Taiwan's relationship with China. China will continue to expand and improve its military capabilities regardless of Taiwan's partisan politics. The majority of Taiwanese people prefer a future of Taiwanese independence, which means that any attempt at political negotiation or unification with China will face public opposition. The next Taiwanese president and legislature will need to address these challenges and balance Taiwan's desires for sovereignty with the need for peaceful relations with China. China anti-dumping probe piles pain on Europe's cognac producers. Bloomberg. Chinese liquor dealers are struggling to sell cognac amid China's economic slowdown and the country's anti-dumping probe into the European Union. Dealers in Guangdong province say inventory is piling up, with even deep discounts on e-commerce platforms failing to raise demand. Sales of imported liquor dropped 40% in 2023 compared to the previous year. Distributors say they won't consider importing more cognac in the foreseeable future. The situation is a blow to European brands that had expected China's post-COVID consumption of high-end liquor to soar, while domestic and global brands are concerned at the decline in consumer confidence. As Taiwan poll nears, William Lai is playing safe to win over DPP supporters. South China Morning Post Taiwan's Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, Presidential candidate William Lai ching Tee has released a video of himself driving with incumbent President Tsai Ing-wen, a move seen as an attempt to boost Lai's standing. The video has been viewed more than 8 million times on social media and observers have said it has been effective in attracting voters. Lai has been ahead in the polls for months. Observers believe that he could face stronger pressure from Beijing if he is elected. The election will take place on of January. India isn't rising to the Red Sea challenge. Bloomberg. Asian nations are starting to feel the impact of Houthi rebel attacks on ships in the Red Sea, with shipping costs estimated to increase between 40% and 60%. The think tank of India's foreign ministry has warned that Indian exports could drop by $30 billion if normal shipping does not resume. The problem is exacerbated by the fact that Western markets are closing themselves off as political pressure builds to onshore production, leading to concerns that supply chains may become unreliable. Bumpy Prices, the Bloomberg Open, Asia Edition Bloomberg U.S. inflation has accelerated, challenging expectations that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates soon. Loretta Mester, a member of the central bank, said that a rate reduction in March is too early and that policymakers still have work to do. Chinese prices are expected to have fallen in December for the third consecutive month, and Bloomberg Economics predicts that deflation could continue until the first half of 2024. In other news, the US and UK are expected to carry out airstrikes against Houthi positions in Yemen today, and Tesla will halt most car output at its Berlin plant due to the conflict. U.S. bank earnings are due to be reported, with J.P. Morgan, Buffet, Citi, and Wells Fargo among those releasing results. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the six-dimensional world. Today, we covered a range of news stories, from Taiwan's presidential election to Hong Kong's luxury property market, and even the impact of Houthi rebel attacks on shipping in the Red Sea. Let's dive into some analysis. Starting with Taiwan, the election is being closely watched due to China's increasing assertiveness. The three candidates have different visions for Taiwan's future, and China has warned against voting for Vice President Lai ching tee fearing cross-strait confrontation. This election not only highlights the contrast between Taiwan's democracy and China's authoritarian regime but also reflects the loss of democratic rights in Hong Kong. Speaking of Hong Kong, its luxury property market is experiencing a downturn. Homeowners are choosing to rent out their properties rather than sell, 
in hopes that the decline will end when borrowing costs fall and China's economy improves. However, finding tenants for high-end properties can be challenging in a time of economic uncertainty. Despite rents rising from pandemic lows, they remain below levels seen five years ago. Moving back to Taiwan, the upcoming election is primarily focused on domestic issues, such as President Tsai Ing-wen's governance and Taiwan's economy. The ruling party, the Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, has organized rallies, while the opposition Kuomintang, KMT, has taken a more cost-effective approach. Polls indicate that Vice President Lai is slightly favored to win, but the final outcome is still uncertain. In another story, China's anti-dumping probe into the European Union is causing pain for cognac producers. Chinese liquor dealers are struggling to sell cognac, and even deep discounts are not raising demand. European brands had expected China's post-COVID consumption of high-end liquor to soar, but the decline in consumer confidence is worrying for both domestic and global brands. Lastly, we discussed the impact of Houthi rebel attacks on shipping in the Red Sea. Asian nations, including India, are feeling the effects, with shipping costs estimated to increase significantly. India's exports could drop by $30 billion if normal shipping does not resume, adding to concerns about unreliable supply chains. So, there you have it, a snapshot of the latest news. It's clear that these stories reflect the complexities and challenges faced by countries in our ever-changing world. Now, I invite you, my dear viewers, to share your thoughts and questions. What do you make of Taiwan's election and its implications for China? How do you think the luxury property market in Hong Kong will recover? Let the discussion begin. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.